Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm, well, ordinarily I wouldn't shoot this video today just because it's overcast and it's actually raining, but because it is such an important situation to remove love bugs from the front of your vehicle, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this video because I am not going to allow them to stay on my work van uh, overnight so that I can shoot this video tomorrow, no way. These love bugs, uh, it's the female in her egg sac that are really acidic. And um, one, it takes about 12 hours before they start to etch into the clear coat. And basically, they're burning holes in your clear coat. Just literally uh, eating away at the structural integrity, structural integrity of your clear coat. So this is the absolute best way on the planet that I have found um, no matter what your skill level is, you can handle this. This is the best way, the most, the safest way on your paint to remove love bugs, period. Um, I'm gonna dilute my infinite purpose cleaner right here. One part product to three parts water. So basically 25% product, 75% water, which is what I have right here already mixed up. So what the first order of business is to let me see if i can get you situated where i can show you what's going on first order of business is to check out the bugs see how the bugs are all bonded to the paint the plastic lenses the chrome bumper all of that um they're also all over the windshield and they're all over both mirrors but can't really see that because well the van's wet now again ideally I'd show you this in you know the sunlight but I'm not gonna wait to remove this horrible crap from my my personal vehicle you've got about 12 hours before this, the bugs start to cause damage to your clear coat if you let them sit overnight and then clean them off you will absolutely see the beginnings of some nasty etchings and if you're from florida or i think texas maybe a little in georgia you know what love bug damage is and so because i'm not going to allow that to happen to me and my vehicle i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to take the infinite purpose cleaner and i'm literally going to just spray it all over the front end give it a second to dwell nothing to it now the infinite purpose cleaner will absolutely strip any wax or sealant that you have on your car uh, if you've got one of the higher end coatings uh, it's not going to hurt anything you see all the bugs on the mirror so just go ahead and spray it all down. I'm not going to worry about the windshield because uh, it's not going to etch the glass. But you can see I got it all nice and uh, sprayed down with the Infinite Purpose Cleaner. And shit, the lighting is horrible. I'm actually in my new, new shop. Uh, it is not ready for me to shoot a video showing it to you yet. Uh, I've been slam busy, but I'm uh, definitely catching up a little bit. So... Uh, soon I'll shoot the shop video and uh, when I went down to Fort Myers where my factory is to remove or to to pick up a few things today including the brand new ceramic acrylic pro hybrid coating uh, that we've stuff is awesome uh, I've got my force pro 5 plus which is definitely awesome but we're using two different types of technologies and they are working amazing together so Ceramic Acrylic Pro Hybrid Coating coming soon to DetailJuice.com, but that is not why I'm shooting this video. So, I've let it dwell a little bit. I've got my AR Blue Clean 112S, which is the consumer grade uh, pressure washer. I think it's like 1.4 gallons per minute and 1500 PSI. It's a decent little unit. I've had it for a couple years. I don't use it every day, but it's, it's a decent unit. Um, it draws more current, has more flow, and uses more water than the Eco Rinse Machine. However, this thing I think was $100 on Amazon. So, uh, whatever you can afford is what you should buy. So anyway, 
You never want to get super close with the pressure washer. Eight to 10 inches is generally what I recommend. And you're gonna let the pressure do the work. You're gonna let the pressure get the bugs off instead of touching it with your hands and rubbing it in a lot. You're gonna let the pressure do all the work. Now I'm plastic, I'm not real worried about it. And to be honest with you, 1500 PSI is really the max I would use on a car uh, on automotive paint. But if you'll notice, the bugs are coming right off. It's not leaving any of the bugs on the surface. They're coming right off. But this is absolutely the best way to remove love bugs from your paint. Um, these got on here earlier today, maybe four or five hours ago. But from all of my research, it takes 12 hours, like I mentioned before, for it to cause any harm. So I'm definitely within the threshold. Uh, it is my work van, I'm not that worried about it, but I wanted to shoot this video and um, it's always good practice to get these things off before they do cause damage. Work van or not, I don't want it to look any worse than it already does. So, I mean, it takes just a few minutes to sit out here like this with a pressure washer and remove these bugs. If you don't do it, you're not doing yourself any favors, that's for sure. So I'm not keeping track of time, but I've probably been doing this for, what, maybe a minute, maybe two minutes. And the bugs are gone. So, I know I've got stuff all over the lens now. See if I can clean that off. So anyway, that is how I recommend you clean love bugs off your car. It's not rocket science, but the Infinite Purpose Cleaner will absolutely break the bugs up so that they're easier to remove whether or not you have a pressure washer, doesn't matter. I recommend a rinseless wash, which I have shot other, other vi uh, videos throughout the year years uh, showing you that kind of thing. But if you're in a pinch, rinseless works awesome. If you've got a pressure washer, that's even better because you're not rubbing on the paint and potentially scratching it up. So anyway, uh, this has been how to remove the safest way. Yeah, that's what I'll, I'll uh, call the video. The safest way to remove love bugs from your vehicle and some info about those. So like I said, it's the female and her egg sac that are the problem and um, you gotta, well, you can't help but hate a bug that definitely tears up your clear coat, but how can you be mad at a bug that just flies around and has sex all day? I mean, that's pretty cool. Kind of feel like I need wings in that situation, to be honest with you, except for they splatter all over the place. So uh, that has been how to remove love bugs the safest possible way from your vehicle. Thanks so much for watching, guys. 813-846-4406 uh, is my cell phone number. Uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, what I've got going on. You'll hear a lot about this stuff right here. Infinite Purpose Cleaner. Uh, one of the best cleaners on the face of the planet. That's not just my opinion. That is the opinion of many, many, many people. Um, so as you can see, it does a great job breaking up the bugs. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the time you guys take to listen to me babble and have a wonderful day.